doing things like sleeping with my friends and the siblings. Oh my god. Spanking had to do all the traveling. Yes. He said no. Ooh. Am I the asshole for driving out dinner on the ground or walking out when my boyfriend asked me what's for dinner tonight, bitch? <laughs> I was absolutely dumbfounded. <laughs> I spent over 11k on that car including new parts, services and the car itself. Oh my god, that is so annoying. So hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mabua. That isn't really a niche for whatever I'm posting. It's very much just like whatever I come across or whatever I feel like talking about. So if you like hearing about different topics, I'll definitely recommend you guys subscribing to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about a subreddit that I found. I just heard about it the other day. It's called Am I the Asshole? And it's a subreddit where people share their stories and want to hear people's opinion about if they are the asshole in that situation. <laughs> it's not funny, but you know, when you start saying it out loud, it's just, yeah. I found some stories that I thought might be entertaining for us to read. And these are like the top stories of all time, like on the subreddit. So I chose the best that I thought could be interesting to talk about. I haven't read any of them, I just based it off the title. So we're gonna talk about it, I'm gonna read out loud the story and then talk about if the person is an asshole or not. I like that there's a platform where people can share their stories because sometimes, even though you might have a close circle group or close family members, sometimes it's easier to share your stories with people you don't know and I can see how these platforms are successful and why people use them because it is a way to vent and get out whatever you are dealing with and getting people's opinions that doesn't know you and will just give you like straight criticism of their opinions. But now we're gonna jump right into it and read some of these stories. I think they're gonna be really crazy. I'm not sure. We will see what's gonna happen. Okay, so before we get started, I live by Busy Rose. If you hear some background noise, I'm really sorry about that. I can't really do anything about it. Subreddit has actually 15 million members, which is a lot. Um, it's crazy. 15 million. That is 15 million, right? This is, am I the asshole for not wanting my mother to meet my son? I'm 41. I have not had a relationship with my mom for 15 years. My dad died when I was four. My mom has not really been a good mom since. I was raised mostly by my grandparents because my mom was constantly bringing bad men in our lives and all doing things like sleeping with my friends and the siblings. Oh my god. Oh my god. I met my now wife 17 years ago. I felt happy for the first time since my grandparents died. When we were going to get married, my mother demanded we do it on her property. I wanted it to be a surprise in the work they would do. Well, a week before the wedding day, she tells us they have done nothing. I didn't even have power, so we called family and canceled and got married at the courthouse with my in-laws. For some reason, my mom was hurt, but then still do it on her land. So she did no work and wouldn't talk to me. She then did finally contact me, but it was to ask for money and I gave it to her. We would communicate weekly. And then she asked for money again. I asked for the account number to pay the bill. And she said, no, I want your debit card number. When I said no, she said I was disowned and refused to talk with me. Okay, that mom is not in her right state of mind. Okay, having her out of my life improved my well-being greatly. That sometimes it really takes that. Having her out of my life improved my well-being greatly. The one giant stressor I had in my life was now gone and my life improved greatly. When she attempted to reconcile, I was not interested because I didn't see the benefit for myself and my wife. Six years ago, my wife became pregnant, 10 years of trying, and her daughter was born. My wife said we need to let my mom meet her. I didn't understand the reason, but I gave her a chance. Things were okay as I didn't really try to have a relationship with her, with her more like a distant friend. And I even rented a house in the mountains so my daughter had an amazing first Christmas. Seems like that is when the trouble again started and the next thing it was my daughter's first birthday and my mother ruined the day by trying to make it all about herself. I told her that is it and I won't let her hurt my kids like what's done to me and cut her off. I then learned that I needed an organ transplant or I would die. People said I needed to talk to her but I didn't care and just want to spend what may have been my last days with my wife and daughter. 
We also learned right after my diagnosis that she was pregnant again. Things switched to hopefully just make it to see him born. I did make it and two months after he was born I was called in to have my transplant. Now two years later and things are going good but my daughter keeps asking why my mommy has, has a mom but daddy doesn't. I really didn't know how to answer her but now I has, has some questioning if I should let them meet my son. Sorry so long and I left some other bad stuff out but kind of hope to get some opinions of others if this makes me that asshole. That is a wild story. <laughs> it's not funny but it's wild. But that's what I like. I, I like like wild things because you you know I, I want to know I want to know I don't want to stay in the unknown. I want to know wild stuff and this is definitely wild. I can get why he's taking distance like He's definitely not the asshole in this situation. Like him distancing himself is the right thing to do. Cause he probably doesn't want any of that bad like behavior around his kids. So I really get that. Um, but he could also like have like once or twice a year where they where the mom sees the kid. I feel like that could work if it's just like once or twice a year um, for a day where he invites his mom or what so she can see the kids. But it's not like a daily thing. When they get older, they will understand the complexity of the relationship. But there are definitely ways that you can like indicate that the situation is just that you're only going to be able to see dad's mom once twice a year because of certain circumstances. Not telling them what it is. Let's read some of the comments. Um, it says, not the asshole. Your mom just is not a good mom. Also, just be honest with your kids. A woman gave birth to daddy like mom's mom did, but my mother did not raise me. My grandparents were my parents. Parents are made up of all types of people who care about each other, which is all that matters. That is true. You can also break it down like that. Not an asshole, just because someone is your biological parent, you don't owe them loyalty or explanations. If they have been toxic to you your entire life, cut her up and keep her out of all your lives. I totally agree with what they're saying. Okay, this one is a difficult one as well. Am I an asshole for telling my wife the luck of my daughter's door does not get removed my brother-in-law and his daughters are out of our house? My brother-in-law Sammy lost his home shortly after his divorce 10 months ago. He moved in with us and brought his twin daughters Olivia and Sloan, 18, with him a couple of months ago. His sister, my wife, and I have I have one daughter, Zoe, 16, and she and her cousins aren't close but get along fine. Olivia and Sloane have no respect for social privacy, none. They used to walk into a room and take everything they could get their hands on. Makeup, phone accessories, clothes, school laptop, etc. Zoe complained a lot and I've already asked the girls to respect Zoe's privacy and stop taking things. My wife and Sammy saw no issue with this of all their girls and this typical teen teenage girl's behavior. I completely disagree. Last straw was when, the, when Zoe bought a $60 Mac makeup kit that looks like a paint set that she saved up for, for over a month and one of the girls friend took it without permission and ruined it by mixing shades together while using it. Oh my god. I don't know much about makeup but that's what Zoe said when she found the kit on her bed and was crying. I told my wife and she said she, she would ask Luan to apologize but I got Zoe a lot, lot after I found she was moving valuable belongings out of the house because of this incident. Sammy and his daughter saw the luck and weren't happy. The girls were extremely upset. Sammy asked about it and I straight up told him and said my daughters aren't thieves. It's normal that girls of the same age probably just stop. He said Zoe could easily get another makeup kit for 15 bucks from Walmart and shouldn't even buy, be buying expensive. I don't make up in the first place and suggest my wife take care of this defect in Zoe's personality trying to appear older than she is. He accused me of being overprotective and babying Zoe with his level of enablement. Ooh. I told him this between me and my wife but she shamed me for putting a lot in Zoe's store for her cousins to see preventing them from spending time with her. Saying I was supposed to treat them like daughters. Then they mandy and I removed it, but I said this dog does not get removed till her brother and his daughters are out of our house. She got mad, was implying we kicked them out and said her family will hate me for this. So I reminded her that his family moved in, which something her own family refused to do. So she should start with shaming, blaming them for not taking their own son and niece's granddaughters in. 
If it was for her family's unwillingness to help, we wouldn't be dealing with this much disturbance at home. Everyone's been giving me and so signing treatment and my wife is very much upset over it. Ooh. Not the asshole. Don't back down. You're the only one staying up for so If a cousin wants to use expensive makeup, give them your wives. I guarantee she won't appreciate sharing anymore. They need to start behaving like appreciative guests. Honestly, I don't feel like he's the asshole, but I definitely feel like the luck does just added fuel to the fire. It definitely added fuel to the fire. He should have had a conversation with his daughter Zoe and told her how she should be hiding certain things like that makeup thing. Like, now the tension is just really intense at the house. But it's definitely not the asshole. I get, I get how that is annoying. I hope it's a big house. I really hope that it's a big house. Okay. Ooh. Am I an asshole for seeing my girlfriend after she had my 1967 Impala project taken to the scrapeyard? I don't know anything about cars, but I think it's a car, right? I'll try to keep this short. I had a 1967 Impala four-door that I bought in February 2019. A couple months ago, I bought my first house that had a two-and-a-half car garage. I moved the car in and started tearing it down for a complete restoration. Wow. I had the body in one bay and the cat and the chases in another, plus the whole garage filled with parts. About two months ago, my girlfriend came to live with me during this whole crisis and the whole time has hated that car. She wants to park in the garage, but I have two acres of land with a lot of nice places to park on the shady trees or help even in the barn if it has to be inside. Oh my god, I gotta tell where this is going. I tell her, tough luck, it's my house, it's not like I can just throw it back together real quick. Anyways, I was out of town for a couple of days on a business trip for the small local company I work for. When I got back, my girlfriend was, was all smiles. Making me food all the time, doing all the chores, all that. I thought maybe she just was happy to have me home, but then I realized that I didn't see her car in its usual spot. I asked her where she packed so I could make sure I'm on that area and keep it clean, and she said not to worry because she parked in the garage. I asked how, and she told me to go check it out. Uh oh, oh no. Turns out that while I was gone, she hired some people to come over and move everything related to the car, including the drive train, body, and ch chassis from all parts. Take it to the local dump scrapeyard. I was absolutely dumbfounded. <laughs> I spent over 11k on that car, including new parts, services, and the car itself. I told her that if I was going to be taking her to court for that, and she brushed me off like I was being dramatic. I told her that it's done between us and and to pack her things and leave. I admit I was really really angry but I did end up getting a lawyer and as I have all the receipts for all that money spent and I have her at my house security cam footage letting the guys in and watching them take it all I think I can win. Her family and friends are absolutely blowing me up saying it's just a stupid old piece of junk and she had cannot and she cannot pay back all that money I spent and that I should just let it go but I have been putting all my time, effort and money into that car for a year and I have now, and god damn it, if I'm not going to get justice for what she did, am I that asshole? I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. How could, how how does she even dare to do that? How does she even dare? And especially if she has two acres of land. Why is it a bit... How can, how can she not see the project in that car? You might... I don't like cars. I don't... I don't care about cars, but if I moved into another guy's house, and I can see that he has like this whole, this project going on that has cost him a lot of money and it's even a car. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even dare to move one thing, do you know what I mean? Because he probably knows what every little thing is and every little small thing probably the whole, down to screws matters. Like how, how does she even have the audacity to even like empty out the garage? That is so rude. He's not the asshole in this. I don't care what you have. I don't even care what you guys have to say. He's definitely not the asshole in this. 11k? Crazy. Um, that's an edit and that's an update. And that's a huge update. Let's read the huge update because I feel like that's like the final. They found my goddamn car. The junkyard, the junkyard guys apparently were in the middle of hiding it when the police came to ask them questions. It was one of, it was on a forklift and they were going to put it on top of a pile of cars. That was hidden behind more piles of cars. They said it was theirs and they had the title, but obviously they didn't have the title for it. I 
and since they match the bin and the, and the chases, chassis, I don't know what that is guys. I, I don't even think I'm pronouncing it right. And body to the bin of my title. It was obviously mine. I know at least one person that has been arrested. I think it was in the camera pushes I talked about earlier, but I don't care if it, if it was the boss, whomever, so, you know, even his specific child. They also told me they would be looking into the specific junkyard for any other vehicles ported stolen. They said they haven't been able to get in contact with my ex just yet, but they are working on it. I'm just so glad they found my car. Luckily, I made quite an album of pictures detailing me tearing down the car and so I can use that to prove what past they had. But mine, so I can hopefully get most or all of it back. Please haven't let me take it back home yet, as they say. It is evidence of something, so hopefully I can get it back eventually. Thank you all so much for the support and advice. She's gonna be alright. Ooh. Ah, someone said, not the ass, so sue her ass. Sue her for the cost, plus a few extra thousand for the time and money. Have her prosecuted for theft, uh, destruction of private uh, property, and have the guys that came to get it uh, prosecuted for receiving stolen goods. Nail them all to the wall. It's crazy. He's definitely not the asshole. It's crazy. I've never... I feel like stuff like this is like in movies. I've never, I've never heard someone tell me a story like this before. Never. Like some, some of these things are absolutely wild. Ooh! Am I the asshole for grabbing out dinner on the ground or walking out when my boyfriend asks me what's for dinner tonight, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, guys, I might be laughing, but it's like, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. I was over my boyfriend's apartment this weekend. I was cooking dinner because he was studying for exams. I made pasta and a chunk of sauce with meatballs and veggies. Sounds delicious. I told him dinner was ready and he goes, what's for dinner tonight, bitch? With like a lot of emphasis on the last word. I was fed up. I've had a pretty rough day with work and I have some awfully bad accusations with that word being used by other people in my life who were pretty abusive. So I was so irritated that I dropped the pot of pasta sauce I've been carrying right on the ground and was like, well, nothing's for dinner tonight now. And I better not hear you using that word again. It's for the girls. He's speaking out about how sauce had landed on his rug and he even said, you're seriously acting like a bitch right now, I don't know what else to call it. Ooh. I just walked out and got take out for myself and went to my friend's house. She thought it was funny, but my boyfriend was furious. He kept texting and calling and sending me voice memos trying to explain that, that saying, what's for dinner tonight is was a TikTok trend. And that he was just quoting something as a joke to put on TikTok. I thought that was the shittiest excuse ever, it doesn't matter if you saw it, saw it as a joke or stole the joke. It was still disrespectful, but it didn't change the fact that he thought that shit was funny to demean me when I was trying to do him a favor. Like hell, I came over when he was starting to make a home cooked dinner, and he decides it's time for jokes. So I put my phone on do not stay for the night and spit a bottle of wine with my friend and a roommate. I get the vibe. I get the vibe. Um, the next morning he was sending me anchor text demanding I clean his rug because he was too busy with exams to do it. I was shocked he left it overnight. <laughs> that was disgusting. I texted him back saying, that's so disgusting. How? I don't get how you can be, oh my god. Like, I would never do that. Okay, I texted him back saying, yeah, so that's the best text, honey. Leave me alone till you're ready to handle your own cooking and cleaning because this bitch isn't anymore. Also, it's wild you left that soaking <laughs> in all night. He called me and told me that he was okay with doing his own household work, but I did throw a full pot of sauce at the ground, so that's on me to clean up. I told him, yeah, no, I'm not comfortable doing chores for you if you see me like your bitch. Ooh, tell him, girl. He told me he didn't, and it was just a trend, and I got pissed off he was playing that TikTok trend, because, excuse again, and I told him, well, I'm starting a thing called sourcing, where as a little joke, people throw past themselves around. You can't be mad. It's just a little trend, a little jokey joke, just a little prank, bro. He got really pissed off and hung up on me. And now I'm seriously wondering if this dumb fucking TikTok joke is going to be the end of this thing between us. Am I the asshole for how I reacted when my boyfriend asked me? 
what's for dinner tonight, bitch? It is to address a comment I've got a lot of. I don't have time to reply to it every time. But did you tell him not to call you a bitch? Like, how would you he know otherwise? Honestly, if someone has gotten to the age of 30 and not realize that women as a whole do not like having the, the means to used against them, they are beyond my help. This isn't something that it needs to be told. I shouldn't have to go through life like, hey man, just in case you were thinking I'm not like the meeting slurs and gets my gender use on me alone, actually. I get a point. But I don't know who, I don't know how that guy is though. Cause some men, even at that age, the video is like immature. If, if he cannot see how that's a problem, and he can't even, like, not even say like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was a joke. That I said bitch, but I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. If he cannot even say that, is it really something you want to be in? Because hiccups can happen, but when someone shows you that they don't like the kind of hiccups that happens, like using slurs like that, and they don't get it, and they're still trying to justify it as being a joke, and they don't see how that joke could be offensive, then I don't really think that you should be dealing with that kind of guy. And that's where I stand. Oh, leave that guy. Okay, it's the last one. Am I the asshole for telling my son he deserved his girlfriend breaking up with him? So my son had a long distance girlfriend recently for about two years. She was great, a really nice girl, and we all loved her well, well compared with open arms. She was flying here constantly to visit him, like a weekend a month, and he didn't lift a finger to go visit her. Ooh. I tried talking to him about it several times and told him he should really start looking into flying over to her instead of expecting her to do all the traveling. Yes. He said no. And my wife probably had something to do with it as she constantly told him she was afraid of him flying. I spoke to them both and said this girl is great for him. She was willing to move over to our country too, but said there was once con one condition and that was he will have to fly over to her country too. Which is fair enough. Exactly. He said no. He didn't want to fly or travel anywhere, but son was becoming lazy and lazy, eventually telling his girlfriend and us that he was perfectly fine never traveling anywhere, including holidays, etc. Oh my god. That speaking told us she ducked him. I went on a Facebook page as we are all still friends, she wrote us an apology letter about how she's upset it didn't work out. But these things happen so we're on good terms. And looks like she's with a new guy already. Whoa, she moved on fast. Me and my wife had no doubt she was seeing him while still in a relationship with my son. I confessed to them both that I actually agree with that decision and he should have expected it. True. Oh, this mom is letting her son know. He did not treat her properly and I hope he learns lessons for the next one because he needs to make more of an effort. He deserved it for his lack of effort in the relationship and for essentially just allowing this girl to spend all her money and time coming here all the time. Exactly. Why would Sana very upset that I said this? Very, very, very upset. And my wife says I'm being horrible. Am I an asshole I stand by what I said? No, you are definitely not the asshole. Sometimes you need to break it down for your kids. How does that other wife not see that? The truth hurts, but you cannot have someone keep flying to see you and then all of a sudden be sad about them not wanting to be with you because you don't want to fly to their country and visit their side of the family. Like, how does that even work? Ooh, okay, the last, last, last one. Am I the asshole? <laughs> for sleeping naked on top of the covers to teach my batmate's girlfriend a lesson. New to Reddit, please bear with. So I, to one guy, lived with my childhood best friend, 22, also a guy, and I've done for two years now. Up until last week, things were perfect between us. However, however, he recently got a new girlfriend, 23, lady, and she honestly seems absolutely great, except for one thing. She seemingly has a complete aversion to knocking. She and I have quite a lot in common. I actually like spending time with her. However, it bugs me the hell out of me when she just barged into my room without knocking first. Now, she's never walked in on me doing anything. I'm usually just chilling on my bed or standing at my desk. However, on at least seven separate occasions now, she's done it first thing in the morning to ask me for what copy. I sleep naked. Every time prior to the last one, I've been under the covers and she hasn't seen anything. I always point out that she could have, she just jiggles and says, but I didn't. 
my sustain over last week I ordered uh, in order to make my point I intentionally stayed on top of the car sure enough she busts in at 7am begins to ask about my car and sees my you know what she made it back out of the room and didn't speak to me for the rest of the day my mate later pulled me aside and said I was bang out of order and accused me of deliberately exposing myself and pointed out that I threatened to do it before I literally just said, okay, but what if I had no covers and you saw everything before? They're not framing this to others and that I'm some sick creep who intentionally got naked and they in wait for her because that's how I get my rocks up. And I'm kind of seeing how it became, how it came up that way. Am I the asshole for doing this? Oh my God. They're like, they teamed up and now they're like against him. He, how, how? Okay, let's start. Uh, She's standing not the asshole. And, and who barges in at that age? Who barges into someone's room without knocking the door? Who does that? Who does that? It doesn't even matter if he if he step close on. Like still, you wouldn't do that. Imagine like he could TMI, but he could step close on and still have a, like a morning water. Like it doesn't mean that. Do you know what I mean? Like. Do you want to see that? Do you want to see the morning world? Do you want to see your boyfriend's best friend's morning world? Is that what you want to see? Well, oh my god, that is so annoying. And the worst thing is the, they're teaming up now and telling everyone that he's being this creep when he's actually just stating a better point that it's his bedroom and she shouldn't be barging in. Not the asshole who barged in without knocking assholes. Exactly. These stories are quite entertaining. I, I actually like this. I, I, do, do you know what? I think I will make another video with stories from this subreddit because this is quite entertaining and it just, just shows you like out of all the videos I've made, I, it just proves that we as humans, we are just batshit crazy. We are really just crazy. It, it is what it is like. But there's just some things where I'm just like being crazy should be allowed. Like that last, in, like the last story, that shouldn't like, that shouldn't even be a situation. Like, how is that even a situation? How is it? I don't even know what I'm doing that kind of situation. Okay, so that was it, you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this video. And sorry for my bad English. It will hopefully will get better with time. Reading, reading out loud takes practice, and I did the, the. It will come with time. I'm not uh, because. Who reads out loud anyways? If, if, if it wasn't because of the, this video, why would I be reading out loud? You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think of these stories. Do you agree on the different stories? If they're an asshole or not? Like, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And if you have a story that resembles a situation, situations like these, and you want to know if you're an asshole or not, let me know down below. I would like to hear what you guys have experienced as well. I would like to hear, hear your guys' opinion. And yeah, that was it for this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.